Welcome, Mr. Gazda here. Homework 64, relative humidity, sling psychrometer. Here we go. You're going to need a reference table. Uh, use the chart on page 12 of the reference tables to answer the questions below. Key thing is uh, you always have to see what you're looking for. Now, all these questions, I'll tell you, I know, they're all going to ask for uh, relative humidity. The first chart on the top here is dew point. We're not there yet. Relative humidity is the bottom chart. Make sure you're using it. All answers in percent. If you use the top chart, your answers are going to be wrong because dew point is different than relative humidity. So, here we go. Let's do the first one. Find the relative humidity based on the sling psychrometer above. So, the dry bulb here is uh, 16 degrees C, and the wet bulb is 12 degrees C. So, I'm just going to kind of abbreviate. Dry is 16 degrees C. Wet is 12 degrees C, and the key thing we're looking for is difference here, difference. And the difference between them, 4 degrees C. That is most important. That is the difference, difference. I cannot stress that enough. Okay, that's a common mistake people get is that they don't find the difference. So it's 4. So I'm looking for a dry bulb of 16 C and a difference of 4. Let's go to a reference table now. I have the benefit of using a... Um, highlighter here. What did I say? 16 and 4. So 16 dry bulb. I have benefit using a, high, a highlighter. You probably should not highlight in your reference table because you have to use it over and over. And then I'll do going down in the difference column. Again, I can't stress that enough. Difference. Go down here. And where they meet, as you can see, is 62. 62. Now 62 what? It will tell you right here. Right here, 62%, 62%. The air is 62% full of water vapor in this instance. Uh, here we go, 62%. Okay, second one. Here we have, uh, this is just a, you know, a sling psychrometer. It's a regular psychrometer in that it doesn't move around, but if you hang it on the wall, it will still work the same way. Uh, find the relative humidity based on the psychrometer to the right. Uh, you can see it says wet cloth wick you need to be able to sort of deduce that this is your wet bulb this is your dry bulb uh, the wet bulb can never be higher than the dry bulb can't happen because evaporation is a cooling process and takes heat away from the uh, wet bulb thermometer so here I have 12 for dry bulb 8 for the wet bulb dry bulb is 12 C wet bulb is 8 C Calculate the difference, which will be subtraction in this case. 4 degrees C is the difference. Excuse the interruption, and here's Mr. An Nier. Please call 4001. Mr. Nier, 4001. Mr. Nier, 4001. Um, but, here we're back to this. Dry bulb 12, the difference is 4 degrees C. Let's go here. Dry bulb is, uh, again, dry bulb temperatures are here is 12 so just so you can visually see it I'm gonna do that and then the difference here is 4 we're in that 4 column again and where they meet is 57 again 57 percent that is key 57 percent 57 percent next one 3 to find a relative humidity based on the psychrometer to the right uh, six degrees C and four degrees C again similar uh, same diagram just different numbers this is the wet bulb this is the dry dry bulb is six degrees C wet bulb is four degrees C difference subtract them and it's just a sort of um, absolute value here it was after or not after negatives or anything so it's two degrees C difference so I have a dry bulb of six a difference of two Let's go to our reference table. What did I say? Dry bulb. This is a Dry bulb of six. And a difference of two. Now we're in the two column. So, uh, here where they meet, 72%. The relative humidity of this is 72%. So hopefully you get in the hang of it. Uh, we'll do a few more in the back. We'll do a few more in the back.
Now, as a check, what I'm going to ask you to do is find the last two digits of your locker number. Once you do that, you will find the two letters that go next to it, and they're all random here. And then, please write them next to your name on the front. Make a box right there and write that number in there. Thank you very much. Now, as a check, what I'm going to ask you to do is find the last two digits of your locker number. Once you do that, you will find the two letters that go next to it, and they're all random here. And then, please write them next to your name on the front. Make a box right there and write that number in there. Thank you very much. There we go. On the back. Uh, find a relative humidity based on the sling psychrometer above. Let's look what we got. Uh, so this is the dry bulb on the bottom. This is the wet bulb here. Uh, dry bulb. It's always good to write it down. Shortcuts and not writing it down can lead to errors. I make mistakes as well when I don't. Dry bulb is 8 degrees C. And this is also in C. And that's 6 degrees C. Wet bulb is uh, 6 degrees C. So find the difference is 2 degrees C. Okay, back to our reference table. And again, let's not forget that. Uh, a common mistake people would make with something like this is they would see 8 and 6 and then they do this. They do 8 here and then they go to the 6 column. Okay, that is the wrong way to do it because that is not the wet bulb. It is the difference, difference, difference. I'll highlight it right there. Difference. Make some arrows right there. It's the difference between the wet bulb and dry bulb temperatures. That is the mistake that I see so many kids make over and over. Uh, and you want to make sure you don't make that mistake. So, with that said, I'm at uh, 8 degrees C for my dry bulb. Difference of 2. So here we go. 8 degrees C with a difference of 2 is 74%. Where they meet, let me do it again. 74% right there. Five. Find a relative humidity based on the psychrometer to the right. Here we go. Similar, it is the dry bulb 18C, wet bulb 10C. Dry bulb. It does help to write them out. You should be writing them out of 10 degrees C. Just to remember to always get the difference. It's 8 degrees C. Dry 18, that's what I'm after. Dry 18, difference of 8 degrees C. Let's do this. Another reference table page right here. And what are we doing? Dry is 18. Dry is 18 right here. And then the difference is 8, so that's kind of a big difference. That means there was a lot of evaporation on that wet bulb. There was a lot of evaporation. Therefore, the air must be very dry to, in order to accept all that water vapor. And we can see it here as 33%. That's pretty low relative humidity. The air is 33% full of water vapor. And that's what this is. 33%. Okay? So, I did those five. It's very similar for all of these right here. Um, so, do these five right here on your own and I'll, I'll do one more I'll do six and then you have to do these four okay so six you go like this Jim uses a psychrometer outside on a drizzly day he records a dry bulb temp of 14 and a wet bulb of 13 I'm gonna write it right here dry of 14 degrees C and a wet bulb of 13 degrees C therefore the difference Sorry, the difference, I have run out of space here. Difference is 1 degree C. So here we go. Okay. Um, before we go on, do this. If you're watching this, and if you've gotten this far, this is what you do. Right here, right after number 6, right here. This is going to help me know if you watch this video. 
write the letters K, G, and circle it. Right there, after 6, that is how I know who watches and who didn't watch it. This is an interesting experiment here. Okay? So do that. Now, let's go back to where we were. Number 6. Dry bulb is 14. Difference is 13. Dry bulb 14. Okay, and it so what you need to do, you need to do more like go along here, and the difference is one, and don't use the first one because that's a zero difference. It's right here, one. So you got to really make sure your columns and rows match up. Sometimes a simple missing, um, getting them wrong, uh, going in the wrong column, it's, it's understandable, but you want to not make that mistake. So um, it's 89%, but really you want to line up your columns and your rows. There's a reason why these are are colored every other one. It really helps. 89% for this one here, 89% for 6, okay, so look at that, you should get a good sense of how this goes, do 7, 8, 9, and 10 on your own, you should be able to get those right, if you need to go back and rewatch this video, do so, and uh, thanks for watching, I'm Mr. Gaz, signing off for Homework 64.